Can't put this possum in a cage. My body's old, but it ain't been black. Well, I don't need no electric fans. They took the blades off, painted them silver, and they charged a hundred and some dollars a piece for them. I looked them up on eBay. It's the same fans as the ten dollar fans on eBay, just like I thought. This is airflow. So listen to this. can't beat that. But anyway, they're off. Regular fans back on. Trouble's over. That's a two-core radiator like the factory one, too. That's probably what they're doing. They're buying these two-core that nobody buys. They're buy getting these shrouds. You can get these shrouds on eBay, too and the fans and doing them up. I mean, it's a good little deal if it works, but on my Jeep, it won't work. So, I'm gonna test it out now. I know it's good, but uh, we'll test it anyway. Look guys, it's fixed. Stock set up. Stock fan, 98 ZJ clutch. You could put this on accessory on a relay where it runs all the time if you want extra. But with this hooked up factory, just a ZJ clutch is the way to go on these Jeeps. I've said it before. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, my battery died. But like I was saying, that is the way to go. 98 ZJ clutch, stock fan. They can't nothing beat that. I don't think you can run it with a three core radiator. Um, it possibly would hit if I got about about an inch and a half between that and, and um, radiator I knew that I know this works I've used it for two years and not had any issues I don't know why I tried that deal but trying to make a video and maybe have an upgrade for everybody that'll work but on this Jeep it will not work there's not enough air through those fans that damn fan right there at idle, that big fan, is pulling more air than all three of them put together. And then when you rev it up, y'all hear how it's screaming. It will suck so much air through there, there's no way it can run hot. Unless the clutch goes bad, which that one's almost... Well, y'all seen where I made the video on upgrading the clutch. I mean, it's that old. But I'm going to button this thing up. And, uh... Oh, some of y'all was concerned about... Yeah, it runs at 210. The Jeep's, they're supposed to run at 210. Why, why am I concerned? It was going past 210. I just didn't want to run it hot there in the driveway. I don't like getting them hot because you're asking for trouble. If your cooling system is up to par, you put a 180 thermostat in it, it should stay at 180. You put a 190 in it, it should stay at 190 to 210. It might go above it, you know, 20 degrees, 10 degrees, something like that, but it's not it shouldn't climb past 210 with a 180 thermostat in it i mean it just shouldn't this is a trail jeep i run it at 180 it goes up to about 188 you know on the trails and that's what it's always stayed at with this the only reason i swapped the radiator out is because it creeped up on me in a drive through the other day but my belt was loose another indication that those fans wasn't new, moving enough air the biggest indication other than it running hot was the AC blowing the orifice tube out because it wasn't cooling the condenser down like it should and it was cycling and it, it cycled so much the switch couldn't catch it at one time the high pressure switch and that orifice tube is behind all that pressure it built up and shot that thing right through that line and just puked all the, the refrigerant out at one time so I wouldn't go that route like I said in the last video if you want an aluminum radiator get it it's fine but use this setup this is the setup for an xj the fans noisy but it does its job we are limited on the size of radiator that we have in these things so you got to pull all the air you can get through that radiator this is trail proven for days on end in the hot summer with the ac blowing in the woods constant trail riding stop and go and it works 
If I'd have went out in the woods with that, which I tried to yesterday, it never even made it to the woods. It was running it up to 230, just driving down the highway. So, I don't know if the people that make this are trying to scam people or what, but I know what they did. They bought the two core radiator on eBay, it's cheap. And these fans are cheap, and you can also buy these shrouds on eBay. So they bought the shrouds, they put them on that radiator, they built this little piece here to, to space it out. They took the blades off, and they painted them this aluminum color. And, you know, this might would work with a five-speed transmission and no winch blocking the whole fucking radiator and AC condenser and fucking transmission cooler and all that stuff yesterday was a shit show i mean it was i put it all in there i called it good i didn't test drive it i did everything that you shouldn't do before you go saying something's decent because i had made a whole video raving about how good this was because there at idle it was good but down the road it wasn't so Anyway, that's the end of this episode of Bull. Like I said in my basic tip videos, Jeep designed this thing to stay cool the way it is. Don't mess with it. I mean, that's as simple as that. I basically had to prove it to myself again. And I have tried that before, and it didn't work. It's just, it makes no sense. But we are humans, and we make mistakes. But at least, if y'all take my advice, you won't make the same mistake. And there's no reason to spend $500. You can get this radiator for $130. You can get that ZJ clutch for, I think, $30. Bucks. Hook it all up, and you're good. But y'all take it easy. Have a good one. It's raining. It is time to go trail riding. We'll have, I might make a video today of what we're doing. And then uh, when we go out camping, definitely, this weekend, we're going to have video of the Luke Burns' Big ZJ, all everybody's stuff. Should be a good time. Y'all take it easy. Have a good one. I'll holler at you later. Bye.